Hi there, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery, back again on your screen, I hope. Okay, we're gonna talk uh, now about standing offers. Uh, I'll explain what that is, is in a second, but let's start with the problem it's attempting to resolve. Let's say you've got a client and you're doing lots of jobs for them at different sites. So typically, this is what happens. Each line is a job. Each one has a separate quote, obviously a separate price, terms and conditions we hope if you're doing the right thing, and uh, obviously a whole separate lot of calculations as you go through it. Okay, So now what you've got is, you've actually got here, for example, five different contracts, five different agreements. Even if the contracts, the terms and conditions are exactly the same, you just use the same paperwork between yourselves, you've basically still got save five separate contracts. Now, if you get into a payment dispute, you're going to have to run five separate claims. Even though the parties are the same, terms and conditions are the same. The only thing is different, the dollars. And if you're on schedule of rates, maybe even the dollars are the same. But nevertheless, if you have five written agreements, you're going to have to run five separate claims. And that's uh, a lot of money down the tubes and it's very inefficient as a relationship between you. Now, if you do have a client where you're doing heaps of work and you've worked for a few years, you guys should create a standing offer. Standing offer is a single agreement. It's a single contract where you and your client say, <coughs> we're gonna engage each other Wherever it is I send you to work, it doesn't matter. We agree between us that these conditions apply, these terms, these due, this due date for payment, etc., etc. The only thing that will then change, the only thing that changes is the price from site to site. Maybe a couple of terms, one or two, if there's a job specific that relates to the site, there's something in particular you want to agree on. But terms and conditions and um, the parties are the same, but only these small differences. It's a lump sum. If your schedule of rates and you're not a lump sum contractor, even your schedule of rates could fall within the standing offer. All then that changes is where you're doing the work. Now, what this means is if you're now doing five jobs, It's all under the one agreement. That means if you have to use the Security of Payment Act, you only have to do one claim because there is only one construction contract rather than five. Have to run five claims, five adjudications, five lots of fees. Really cumbersome. One agreement, one adjudication. You can wrap all five jobs into a single claim because as we know, you're going to um, be invoicing for each job separate invoice for each job to keep track of them, your client might give you 20 grand. Oh, just apply it wherever, because they're treating you as a single account. We're gonna talk about that in another little uh, video that's coming up shortly. So, standing offer is a way to go. If you've got regular customer, create a single contract that you can agree on, sign off on it, say, this is our agreement until terminated in writing by either party. The only thing that from job to job, you simply submit a price for Liverpool, a price for Hoxton Park, whatever it is, and uh, the same offer stands, all right? Now, this is an important thing. Very few people do it. It's got enormous advantages. Please think about implementing that in your business, and I'll see you next time.